Good day. Welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. Grace, peace from God our Father and from our Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are looking at Malachi chapter 1 verse 6 through verse 11. God's love for his people. He showed them their love, but they scorned his love. God was saying to them, especially in verse 6, the things that they did, the things they brought to him, they would not have given it to their governors, meaning their political leaders. So God, having established his love, demonstrated or proved or showed it to Israel. Malachi showed several ways in which Israel had scorned God's love. He says to them, I did this, they said, showed it to me. So in Malachi chapter 1, verse 6, all the way to chapters 3 and verse 18, we will see what God did for them. And they still question his faithfulness. What have you done for us? The priest also, who should have known better, had despised God by offering unacceptable sacrifices in direct violation of the law. We see that in uh, Malachi chapter 1, verse 6 through 8, or references Deuteronomy chapter 15 and verse 21. They were or they would treat God with so much contempt they would not dare to treat any other human leader with Malachi 1 verse 8 Malachi the prophet called on them to either repent in verse 9 or cease their offerings altogether in verse 10 by their polluted sacrifices and their empty formalisms, they display the contempt for God. Malachi 1 verse 12 through 14. On the other hand, the day is coming when God's name will be exalted among the Gentiles. Malachi 1 and verse 11. So as we read uh, Malachi 1 verse 6 through verse 11, it says, A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my honor? Fear, saith the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests that despise my name, and yet say, Wherein have we despised thy name? He offer polluted bread upon mine altar, and he say, Wherein have we polluted thee? In that he say, The table of the Lord is contemptible and if he offer the blind for sacrifice is it not evil and if he offer the lame and sick is it not evil offer it now unto thy governor will he be pleased with thee or accept thy person saith the Lord of hosts and now I pray you, beseech God, that he will be gracious unto us. 
this hath been by your means. Will you regard your persons, saith the Lord of hosts? Who is there even among you that should shut the doors for naught? Neither do ye kindle fire on mine altar for naught. I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord of hosts. Neither will I accept an offering at your hands. So we have read to verse 10 in Malachi chapter 1 from verse 6 to 10. And we see the Lord charged the priest with despising his name and feeling to honor him and to reverence him. They then ask for evidence of their profane behavior. The Lord accuses them of bringing defiled offerings. They denied that too. But he reminds them that they ask as if they acted and ask as if anything that they had brought to him, it was good enough for him. Therefore, he shouldn't have anything to say about it. The Bible says they brought the blind and the lame animals for sacrifice which they would not dare offer to their governors or their political leaders nor their spiritual leaders the prophet urges them repent he says this is a sin you have transgressed god by doing these things he says repent before god's wrath come upon you Repent so that his wrath can be averted. The Lord of hosts wishes that someone would shut the temple doors so that the sacrifices that these people bring, the lame and the um, kind of sacrifices that were sick would not be brought to him anymore. He says these things are utterly unaccepted to him. We know whether it's in the days gone by or it is today, whether it's the time of the law or the time of grace, God deserves our very best. Whether it is ourselves or whether it is our service, he desires the best of our time. He desires the best of our talent that they be used to glorify him. He desires the best of our temple, which is ourself, which the scripture says belong to him and it's not even our home. He desires the best of our treasure, our financial resources, so that the gospel can be spread and the kingdom of God can be built up. So he desires his best. Are we giving of our best? Or are we giving him what is left and not what is right? God has given us his best. When he sent his one and only son, into the world to be born of a woman to be crucified to be buried to be raised again to suffer at the end of his enemies why so that he could save us those that are lost let all that, that we do bring him glory in whatever we do, let us bring him glory and honor and praise. We see the sacrilege even by the priests, the ones who should have known better. They just did not care. They expected him to accept whatever they bring. Because this is what they wanted to bring and would not bring anything better. I 
as the prophet warns, be careful. God will not accept second best. He will not be second class. He must be all in our lives or nothing at all. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. It is free. Like, share, and comment. And don't forget to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.